So the, so the reason for, for considering an up, uh, updates were that since the prior criteria were published, there's uh, a number of new data have um, emerged concerning uh, uh, the validity of, of those criteria in uh, a range of populations, pediatric MS, uh, Asian, Latin American populations, uh, and also new data concerning the relationship between multiple sclerosis and uh, neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorders, which are now understood to be different diseases. Uh, so uh, the proposed uh, revisions, the, uh, the goal for the proposed revisions uh, were to make the criteria uh, more sensitive, uh, simpler, uh, to incorporate the, the new data, uh, and to also allow the diagnosis of MS uh, in several scenarios where there's a high likelihood of MS, but uh, those people could not currently be diagnosed by the, the prior uh, criteria. Uh, so uh, we met uh, first in, in November uh, of 2016 and just recently met uh, uh, in May uh, uh, for a second meeting. Uh, and uh, uh, we reviewed all those potential revisions. Um, uh, we, f we finished our deliberations, uh, but unfortunately at the moment I'm not at liberty to, to uh, reveal our specific decisions on some of those points. Um, uh, uh, we're preparing a manuscript uh, uh, to summarize those, which we uh, uh, expect to be completed by uh, the end of the summer. Uh, and then the, the criteria will be presented in de the revised criteria will be presented in detail probably at the uh, Ectrums meeting in Paris. There's, there were several competing um, priorities as we were deciding uh, uh, about the proposed revisions. One was that um, uh, this was a panel of experts, so everybody has a number of uh, uh, strong opinions, uh, but we wanted the criteria to be, as to the extent possible, based on evidence, uh, not just merely uh, opinion. Uh, and the, the evidence is, unfortunately, incomplete at the moment for, for some of the considerations. Uh, and then the, the, the second important um, uh, distinction was uh, between making the criteria sensitive so that we could make the diagnosis uh, officially in, in someone who was likely to have the diagnosis uh, weighed against the risk of misdiagnosis. Uh, and a MS is frequently misdiagnosed uh, because there's a, uh, a wide range of other conditions that can produce manifestations that overlap those of MS. Uh, and there's no one, there's no one specific uh, test or feature that distinguishes MS from those other diseases. So all of the uh, proposed revisions were discussed in that in that context that uh, we want to uh, make sure that they make sense uh, that there's evidence uh, supporting them uh, but they weren't going to lead to misdiagnosis okay. they, they weren't uh, treatment guidelines but it's very hard to dissociate those issues because uh, once you make the diagnosis there's increasing impetus to start treatment at an early stage so that just compounds the issue of, mis of misdiagnosis. So even though these were not criteria for whether to treat a patient or not, we understood that uh, one potential ramification of making the diagnosis is it may lead to the initiation of treatment.